Introduction to Machine Design This is the Machine Design Procedure Step 1 Definition of Problem Step 2 Synthesis Step 3 Analysis of Forces Step 4 Selection of Material Step 5 Determining Mode of Failure Step 6 Selection of Factor of Safety Step 7 Determining Dimensions Step 8 Modifying Dimensions Step 9 Preparation of Drawings Step 10 Preparing Design Report The first step in the design procedure is definition of problem. What problems are we trying to solve? Give all input parameters, output parameters and constraint in this step. Complete the list of specifications. So for example, if you are designing a scooter, you will require the width, length, height, weight to be specified in the step itself. Step 2 Synthesis Synthesis is the process of selecting or creating mechanism for machine so as to get desired output from input. For example, if you are designing a scooter, you will have to select a mechanism which is, which is a single slider crank chain mechanism. You can see in the animation. Step 3 is analysis of forces. In this step, you draw a free body diagram of each element and find out loads, moments, torques, etc. Thorough force analysis is done in this step. Next step is selection of material. Material is selected based on availability, cost, mechanical properties, manufacturing considerations. Next step is determining modes of failure. For example, you can see the beam. Compression is the mode of failure here. So what type of failure will happen? is decided in this step. Next step is selection of factor of safety. You know factor of safety is maximum stress upon allowable stress or permissible stress. So based on application selection of factor of safety is done. Based on the material strength one can find out the design stresses. Next step is to determine dimensions. To find out all the loads, forces, moments acting on the machine. To determine the different types of stresses acting on the machine. Apply the theories of failure like maximum principal stress theory, maximum shear stress theory, distortion energy theory, Coulomb mode theory. And then find out the permissible stresses or allowable stresses that are acting on the machine elements. The dimensions that you have decided will not remain permanent. You will have to do some modification based on selecting the standard parts available in the market. You will have to make certain changes based on convenience of the assembly. Certain changes have to be done based on convenience of the manufacturing. The next step is showing the dimensions, tolerances, surface finish, geometrical tolerances on the drawings. Draftsman has a very crucial job to display everything in nutshell in the drawings as this drawing is going to go to the production department. He needs to show the special production requirements like heat treatment. He needs to prepare the assembly drawings with the part list. The last step is a compiled design report. We'll give you A to Z information of everything occurred stepwise in the designing of the part.